What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys. This is my haul of the week video, but this is also like a little, we're gonna do make it like a little vlog, little con recap. We could call it a bunch of things. We're gonna yap a bit. It's late on a Saturday night, Sunday morning, whatever you wanna call it. It is 1.20 a.m. here, uh, and it feels a lot later than that. Oh yeah, I guess that's, must be because of uh daylight savings time ugh what is up with that we don't need that here uh, but anywho i'm drinking a little bit of coffee um just to stay up a little bit longer i've had a long day already i woke up so let's start where let's start at today um and then we'll go backwards a little bit um i woke up at 6 a.m. this morning because I wanted to get into Playfair. Uh, so Playfair, time out. If you haven't watched my videos uh, in the last day, I've been posting some videos from Playfair. Playfair is an offshoot of Toy Fair. Um, it's mainly for kids though. Um, you know, like, and it's open to the public and you know, you can bring your kids. Um, I, I, last year it was at the same, it was in the same week as Toy Fair and uh, I didn't go to it. You know, I just went to Toy Fair and not Play Fair. This year, since they spread them apart, I figured this was a good time to check out Play Fair, see what's going on there. Um, they granted me a press pass, which is awesome, you know. Uh, to officially have a press pass is always really cool, you know, it's a little bit of a validation uh, that what I'm doing here is, you know, people are noticing. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so was able to get in as press and uh, I took a lot of pics. Now my pics, I was going to put them on my Facebook page and my first video kind of mentions that, but uh i am actually gonna uh, they're actually gonna be uploaded to actionfigurejunkies.com which is a fantastic website i've mentioned them many times before they have the largest uh action figure community on facebook so go check them out action figure junkies on facebook awesome the website is awesome uh run by my pal jared cruz and uh, I'm really happy to contribute there because I've, you know, like I, I post so much stuff on, <laughs> of my stuff on AFJ that like, you know, on the forum that, man, I owe them so much. So I, I took all these pics for them really. And, you know, the videos, you know, are here on, on, on the channel and the pics are gonna be there. So, you know, give a check in the next like day or two. Uh, for all my picks from there. I, I will post a link to that on uh, my Facebook page. So yeah, that, you know, a little bit of a crossover. It's really good, you know? Uh, so woke up really early this morning because I had to get in uh, early to get my press pass. Uh, so I woke up really early this morning and when I did, um, I rem like I checked Facebook I was reminded that, uh, and shout out to my, you know, pal Steven of Steven's Toys Reviews, uh, <laughs> um, that Amazon, and if you guys didn't know, it's, it's kind of over now, I'm sorry, um, was have, it was running, oh, actually, there might be, there might be a little time left, I don't know by the time you put, I post this video, I'm not sure, um, Amazon was running a Amazon in conjunction with Bluefin Distribution were running a big sale. Dragon Ball Z stuff, the WWE stuff from yesterday's Trigu Arts, yesterday's Trigu Arts, you know, a lot of Bandai model kit stuff, and then like various little things, some SH Monster Art stuff, you know, um, and some other brands in that um, Bluefin carry. So, and that was all on Amazon, uh, you know, mostly 30% off. There was a couple things that was actually a little more, a couple things that were a little less. Um, 
So the first thing I did when I got up this morning was like, I'm on my phone. I'm like, oop, I want to get that. I want to get that. I want to get that. Um, so I ended up ordering a bunch of things today from there. Uh, they're coming like they're all like kind of scattered the way they're coming because I guess maybe some things were not quite there yet. So they'll be here later. I'm going to feature them later this week. Um, I think the last thing from this, uh, like that sale will come in on Thursday. So I'll probably just do it towards the end of the week, film a video. Oh, and I just got uh, an email that my first few things were, were just shipped. Just got it just now as we're <laughs> talking about it. How about that? Uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, I'm going to gather them all up and I'm not even going to open the boxes. I was like, Oh, who am I kidding? Uh, I'm gonna try not to open those boxes and maybe do it all together. Uh, I think there'll be three boxes with a bunch of items. So pretty cool. Got some cool stuff. All obviously all stuff here at the channel. So there's that. Uh, Playfair was cool again. This was mostly for the kids, uh, but there was some really cool stuff that I saw there that I really that I like personally. I, you know, Ben Ten. Um, uh, had the new figures on display. I took pics of that. I took a video of that. That's here on the channel if you want to check that out. I've done, I did the the first wave. I've, I'm only getting Ben and the 10 aliens, um, you know, so I'm not getting any of the bad guys or anything else they put out. Um, and I covered all of those already here on the channel, uh, those reviews. And then, uh, so I was really, you know, happy to see, you know, the new figures. They were all on display. Very nice displays. They made like little home worlds for each one of them, and that was pretty cool. Um, so I really dug that, and uh, you know, finally got to see the grocery gang, uh, which is pretty yeah, some pretty cool figures, and they're actually really cheap. Um, so those were like available on preview night, which was Friday night. Uh, and that was open just for VIP passes and press. Uh, I got to play around with those uh, and they felt nice and the paint was really decent on them. Um, and they're cheap again, like I think like MSRP is like $6.99 each. They're about this big, uh, maybe like four and a half, five inch figures, something like that. Uh, and they're cool. You know, I really thought they were nice. Uh, I kind of want to get a few, I don't know. <laughs> like I was having this dilemma the whole time because then Midtown Comics had a booth there and they had them, you know. Um, again, I haven't seen them in store myself yet. Uh, so on Toys R Us's website, the only reason I didn't get them at Midtown Comics booth, uh, and I didn't get them, uh, was because Toys R Us's website has them um, uh, marked down right now about 550 each so I don't know I still don't know if I'm gonna get them I'm not a hundred percent sure I, you know like I kind of want them uh, I, they kind of like <sighs> there's a nostalgia feel to them for me like I used to love Mad Balls which I featured here on the channel and Garbage Pail Kids when I was a little kid so I kind of want to get them kind of want to play with them with Ultra Zill Jr. I kind of wish I took Ultra Zill Jr. today I you know, I didn't, um, is what it is, but let's, let's see some haul now. Okay. So, but Playfair was awesome. It was really awesome to see all the little kids playing with stuff. Uh, I, I really dug that, you know, like it's really cool. Um, I don't know. It's just, you know, we all started there, you know, like we, a lot of us consider like, oh, us like big collectors or like we take collecting seriously or this or that, but you gotta remember where it all started, where that love started. So it's really nice to see kids playing with toys and having a good time, you know, like that's awesome. So it just makes you feel good about what you're, it makes me feel good about what I'm doing here, you know, like, so that's why, you know, I personally like to keep this PG. I like to involve my son, you know, um, I'm talking about toys. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I feel like I'm eloquent enough to, to get my point across without like cursing or anything like that. So, hey, you, you you take that however you will, but that's how I feel, whatevs. Let's get into some haul. 
I, the only things I picked up at uh, Playfair um, were something I talked about just now, and they all, and Midtown Comics had them as well. First time out, the new Ben 10s. So this is Upgrade. And Stinkfly. And Overflow. And the last one was, oh, this one looks really awesome. Uh, Wild Vine, this guy had like the coolest display. So pretty cool. The other fig, I think there's only one other figure that came out, Dr. Animo. Animo, yeah, this dude. That guy was there as well. I didn't get him, you know, like, kind of like Hex and uh, Steam Smythe. I, I haven't gotten any of those. I just want like a cool display with Ben and a 10. That's all I want. So I will be reviewing these guys uh, very, very soon. Uh, you know, I do appreciate that like I was able to get them early. Uh, I think it's early. I'm not sure if you guys have seen them yet out there. Uh, first time I've seen them, that's for sure. Um, I might do two and two, or maybe all four all together. I haven't decided yet. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna open those right now. We just this is gonna be a long video, so we have a lot to to go through. Um, so now that that's my all I got with Playfair right now. Again, you know, ch pay attention to my Facebook page, uh, and I'll let you know when my. Uh, when the action figure junkies uh, page with all the pics and stuff went up. I might do a little write up, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I sent them the pics already. We'll see, we talked about doing a write up. I'm not sure if it's really necessary, um, but we'll see, I might. I've, I've been known to write stuff. <laughs> all right, so going back a little bit, you know, uh, down the week, um, I had to get something off of Amazon that was a uh, add-on item. So something for Ultrazilla Jr. that he needed. Um, and uh, uh, so I decided to grab a figure um, to make it. Uh, when you get an add-on item at, at Amazon, you have to spend 25 bucks to be able to add it on because it's really, really cheap, the add-on item, um, like a, at a super markdown. Um, so yeah. That's the only way they'll send it to you. Spend 25 bucks, you'll get, you know. It's 25 bucks with that add-on item price in there. Um, so the figure I got is actually a figure that uh, I've only seen really scalper prices and, you know, now that it, as soon as it came down to Amazon price, regular price, I, uh, I, you know, I really wanted to get it. Um, and that's Reaper from uh, DC Multiverse. This is the Rookie Wave. Uh, and I am gonna get these guys. Uh, I already got, uh, and you've seen them in a previous haul, uh, Batwing. So I got Batwing, now I got Reaper. Slowly getting them. Uh, I don't think I'm doing individual reviews of these guys. I think I'm gonna do, once everything in this here, gonna do like a, cause I do, I am gonna get the entire wave. Um, cause I really want to get rookie. Um, and I don't feel like buying them. I kind of want to do a review of the figures. Um, pretty much all of them I think look cool. So we'll see how it goes. Um, mixed feelings about the two figures so far, but, um, definitely cool looking for sure. Yeah, I opened them up obviously. Just wanted to get rid of the box. So that was, uh, one thing. Uh, he does come with regular hands as well. So yeah, some things are open here. Uh, the next thing is pretty cool. Um, fellow YouTuber, but a much bigger YouTuber than me has been doing this a long time. Mostly a Transformers guy, but you know, he likes a lot of different robots and stuff. Um, the tr uh, reviewer Pia, or Piag, Piag, Pia, I'm not sure. I always, I always said Pia. I don't know. I haven't, I've never actually heard it out loud. So, you know, from him. Um, he he often posts sales here and there, like either on the TFW 2005 boards or on Twitter, which is really where I don't really go to the boards that much every once in a while. 
Uh, I like to look at pics and stuff. Um, but, you know, I follow him on Twitter and he posted up something that I've been meaning to get, um, you know, for a lot less because he got it and reviewed it. Um, you know, so I was able to get this at a real markdown and that's awesome. And that's the uh, Transformers uh, uh, Soundwave. This is the tablet Soundwave. Very cool. Um, so like more, like some like 12 bucks off or something like that. I'm good with that. You know. So, you know, this is... <laughs> oh. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a tablet you just dropped on the floor. <laughs> um, well, it's got all kinds of... <laughs> Gibble on the back. A cool little sleeve. Um, so yeah, I got this guy. I don't. I don't want to leave him out. Um, I'll check him out soon enough. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I always like, you know, I was, I was like getting stuff like that from fellow reviewers because, like, I feel like. That for me is the best way to to support the guys I like. I've I've bought stuff off of Kuma Style. I bought stuff off of Rocket Punch Army. You know, so I like doing that. You know, like I feel like that for me is the best way because it's like you know I'm getting something as well and I'm giving them something. So I think that's a good way to support. Um, okay, so that's done. Another big thing that happened on. Friday uh, was the Disney store released their uh, toy box figures now if you haven't heard about this uh, and you know this is very fresh like they kind of they teased it like last week and boom in store this week um, so what toy box is is a line of action figures based on Disney Infinity, the game that, you know, the now defunct game. Um, they had those little figures that were like being clearance out like crazy, and, like TRU, like buy one, get four free. Um, and I wanted to get a ton of them because I've always loved the aesthetic. I uh, never played the game, um, but I've always loved that really super, super, super cartoony aesthetic. Um, of all the figures, but I, I didn't. I held off, never got them. But when I heard this, um, it's basically, you know, they're doing Star Wars, Marvel, Pixar. And they could all interchange, like, weapons and stuff. They all have the same size finger, you know, hands. And, um, you know, they all, they all scale together. So, I, I really like the idea of that. It's, but here, you know what? Let's start. To, let's start looking, because this guy, I first showed this morning on my Facebook page. As I was, you know, what happened was I went into the Disney store last night after Playfair, uh, and I, I I found a lot of them. They had a lot of them, but they had they also hadn't gotten them in all. Um, what I was told was they're being staggered into the stores. You could get them all at once. Uh, online, you know, um, but as far as in the stores, they're being staggered in. Um, so they were missing a bunch less, and there was no Woody. There was, you know, well, the initial lines are from Pixar, Woody, Buzz, and Jesse. And then from Marvel, it's Thor, Hulk, Iron Man, and Spider Man's on the back, but I heard that it's not. And uh, and um, not really out yet, and then um, from uh, Star Wars, it's all like Force Awakens stuff. It's Rey, Kylo, First Order, Stormtrooper. Um, so, you know, I snagged a few less, you know, on Friday night, and I opened this guy up this morning, uh, and I took him with me, and I fiddled with him on the train. I I did a little video on my Facebook page, like a little Facebook live. Just like a quick, you know, first look uh, deal. So go ahead and check that out if you'd like. Um, but yeah, 
very cartoony, about 14 points of articulation. So not like super articulated, but like not articulated enough. Um, and I kind of dig him in a, like I'm, you know, I, I really like to check him out, uh, but I think I'm gonna like eventually give them all to Ultrazilla Jr. So really good for, you know, both, you know, kids and adults uh, and to play with, you know, adults to play with adults, to play with uh, your kids. Um, they're fun. I mean, at least this guy so far is, is fun. Very cartoony. I've seen a lot of hate towards these things already. Like, why? Like, I, I don't get it. Don't, just don't buy it. If you don't like the aesthetic, you don't think it's cool, don't buy it. You know, like, I, I mean, I'm just not sure what the problem is. Is it because like collectors are looking at it but we as collectors look at everything, don't we? Like we buy regular, like basic figures. I've seen like, you know, so many people on so many forums collect basic figures. And I feel like a lot of these same people are like disparaging these guys, which are like more, a little more than basic. I don't know, it's really strange. So that's Thor. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> um, and then the other guys I got last night was Buzz. Oh, both looks pretty cool. Um, somebody, I saw somebody online saying um, the, who had gotten them all that Buzz was their favorite. And I picked up Kylo. Um, Kylo was my second choice to get. I really wanted to get Rey, who I think looks really nice. Uh, but she, uh, the, there was only one Rey. And oh man, I hope they're not like short packing Rey. Um, because it was really strange to me that there was so much of everything else and there was only one ray left. Uh, but her hair was like all like scratched up, like the paint. So I was like, ah, I don't want that one. So I held off. Um, I, I'm not gonna get everything. I'm not getting the first order stormtrooper. Um, he just, like it didn't look good. Like the knees looked really bad. Like I felt like it's not gonna stand well. And I felt like the same thing with Jesse. Um, just didn't do it for me and plus I, I don't really like that character that much so I'm not gonna get that I definitely want Ray uh, I definitely want Woody when he comes out it looks really cool so I went back today because after today's Playfair because I heard they were getting a couple more figures overnight for today's stuff and it was true uh, and I got the Hulk so the other figure that they did get was Iron Man. Now, the, I'm gonna, and you're gonna be able to see it right away. I don't know exactly what, you know, the process was, but if you look at the figures back here, they're all classic costume, but the figures are now like the movie costumes so you see that like look at look at Thor Thor has his classic helmet in the back but this figure is not the classic so they they decided to change it somewhere along the lines there um, which is really interesting the thing that bugs me about it is Hulk's head here is much better than this one. So I was a little disappointed when I got into the store. I was like looking forward to getting this Hulk. And look, oh yeah, here. What? That's definitely not that. Although maybe that's, that itself might be. No, that's look like a figure. So I don't know. I'm hoping at some point. Oh, it says images shown are depictions of the fine. Wait, images shown are depictions of the final product. No, it's not. Final product may vary from image. <laughs> so what is it? Weird, weird. Does the same thing happen with Kylo? I don't know, hard to say. He's all dark. Let's see, uh, Woody. Yeah. 
Woody looks pretty much the same, I think. Woody looks pretty much the same. But I don't know. But definitely the Marvel ones, they decided to change from the classic costumes to like the movie stuff. And they changed their head. So that's a lot. That's like a different figure. So who knows if they're going to release the other ones as well. I just found that very, very strange. Okay. So one last thing. Um, where'd it go? There's so many bags here now. Um, after that, I stopped in uh, the only thing geek here in NYC that I know of. Um, and I found uh, a Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary Han Solo. Uh, I only saw this figure once before, like the like as soon as these guys came out, and I kind of passed on it. I was like, eh, I don't know if I want that. But as time went on, I was like, man, I really wish I got that because I never saw it again. <laughs> uh, and they had like a whole like whole little rack of them. Um, I think these guys skyrocketed for a little while and I think they've come back down to earth a little bit even though they're still priced up marked up on like eBay but not as bad as like what I first like I, what I saw like even a month ago um, I only bought one I'm not that guy think geek guys go get it if you want in Manhattan <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I never had the original of this. So for me, this is a brand new figure. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. You know, like it's a perfect, no, if I wanted more perfection, I would have went for the figure arts, but I didn't. Um, and just seeing this guy, I, I, I kind of wanted to go for the figure arts. I kind of wish that this, that figure was on sale uh, today. It wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this looks good enough. The likeness, it's okay. You know, there's probably going to be another Han Solo figure from the Black Series next year when they get that new technology going, fa digital face printing. Um, but yeah, I, I I jumped. I jumped to get him this time. So get a little Han Solo in my life here. That's it, guys. That's all I have for this haul of the week slash con report slash blah, blah, blah in. Um... So, all right, I hope you enjoyed it. Got a lot of stuff here to do. I am probably going, as far as reviews go, uh, I do wanna like work in both those Ben 10 figures and the toy box figures uh, right away. So um, I know they're both pretty much brand new stuff. So I, can't, I, I, you know, if I can, I do jump at those. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.